Hello, this is Core Tech Korea. The product I'm going to talk about today is UL Adapter from Brookfield. The UL Adapter is an accessory used to measure the viscosity of a low viscosity sample. A small sample of 16 milliliters can measure the low viscosity of the lowest daily centipoise. Also, universal coupling nuts are applied to the spindle for easy detachment, and the temperature of the sample can be kept constant with a circulating water bath. The UL adapter can be mounted on Brookfield dial reading, DVD, DV1M, DV2T, and DV3T viscometers. The specifications of the UL adapter are as follows. The components of the UL adapter are as follows. Today, I'll explain with a water jacket model. Today, we will explain with a DV to T viscometer. Rotate the locating channel assembly top screw clockwise to the connection on the back of the pivot cup. Place the spindle in the chamber tube and attach the fixing hook to the bottom of the locating channel assembly. Use the power switch on the back of the main body to turn on the power. The display shows the phrase, remove spindle and level the viscometer. Make sure that the spindle is disconnected and the viscometer is level, then touch the next button. Proceed auto zero for a while. The auto zeroed compilation message is displayed. Touch the next button again to go to the measurement waiting screen. Attach the spindle to the coupling screw. To prevent damage to the pivot, lift the coupling screw slightly upwards when the spindle is combined. With the coupling screw slightly raised upwards, rotate the spindle clockwise to combine. Remove the chamber tube by turning the fixing ring counterclockwise. Place the sample in the chamber tube by 16 milliliters. Fix the chamber tube containing the sample to the fixing ring. Select the spindle number of the UL adapter and set the rotation speed you want to measure. If necessary, you can set the measurement end condition. Connect the constant temperature water bath. Connect the hose to the nipple on the water jacket and water bath. Set the temperature of the sample using the constant temperature water bath. To determine the actual temperature of the sample, measure the temperature of the sample directly with the temperature sensor disconnected. Press the run button when the sample reaches the set temperature. The display shows data from the sample you are measuring. The displayed values represent the measurements, torque, shear stress, shear rate, speed, and trend bar, respectively. The temperature cannot be checked because the sensor is not connected. Touch the stop test button to end the measurement. When the measurement is complete, remove the spindle. When removing the spindle, hold the coupling screw upwards, just as you do when you combine it. Remove the chamber tube and spindle together by turning the fixing ring counterclockwise. Clean the separated spindle and the chamber tube sufficiently. If the measurement is not displayed and E is displayed, try to measure it by reducing the rotational speed because it is outside the measurement range. If the torque value is less than 10% even though the measured value is stabilized, the correct viscosity value cannot be obtained, so change the rotational speed and measure again. Make sure that the temperature of the sample is between 15 and 65 degrees Celsius. If you want to measure samples outside their temperature range, separate consultation is required. If the spindle is impacted, the pivot is more likely to be damaged. Depending on the sample quantity, there may be errors in the measured value, so please keep the correct quantity. 
All right, that was a description of Brookfield's UL adapter. For consultation and purchase inquiries, please contact Core Tech Korea. Thank you.